Sociedade Esportiva Palmeiras is a Brazilian soccer club from Sao Paulo, Paulo. The club was founded on August 26, 1914, as Palestra Italia but changed to the current name on September 14, 1942. It is one of the most popular and successful Brazilian clubs, with almost 17 million supporters, including a large number of Brazilians of Italian ancestry. Despite being primarily an association football team, Palmeiras competes in a number of different sports, most notably basketball. The soccer team plays in the Paulista Pound O, the state of Sao Paulo Paulo's Premier State League, as well as the Brasileira Pound O, the top tier of the Brazilian football league system. Palmeiras is one of the most successful clubs in Brazilian football. The team has won 11 national competitions, a record in the country. The club's most important titles have been the eight National League titles and three National Cups. Their international titles include one Copa Libertadores. The team won the competition in 1999, after beating Deportivo Cali of Colombia. In 1951, Palmeiras won the International Copa Rio, known as the first World Club Association football tournament, after beating Juventus of Italy. In 1999, the team was declared the champion of the century in Brazilian football. History, Foundation and Name Palmeiras was founded on August 26, 1914, initially as Palestra Italia, by Luigi Servo, Vicenzo Rogognetti, Luigi Emanuel Marzo and Ezekiel Simone, four Italian men who were members of the Italian community of Sao Paulo Paulo. Its original colors were red, white and green. During the World War II, Brazil entered the war supporting the Allies and its dictatorship along with the Brazilian Expeditionary Force forced Palestra Italia to change its name because of the reference to Italy. The original badge is still present in the current one, and the club has used red as a third color. Palestra is born a Euro opening game, at the beginning of the 20th century, Several young Italians decided to start a club whose main goal was to form a football team that would be representative of the Italian community, and face the big names of Sao Paulo Paulo's football elite. Just over three decades earlier, Italy had been unified a Euro a fact that was not known to some Italian Brazilians and to some non-Italian Brazilians. There were numerous Italian clubs, but each one represented an Italian province or was geared to activities other than football. At the time, the game was starting to take hold and drew many players and fans. The founders of the club sought out the Fan Fuller newspaper, which was the media mouthpiece that defended the interests of Italians in Brazil, and entrusted young Vincenzo Rogognetti a Euro another supporter of the idea a Euro to draft an invitation to those interested in forming a sports club. After several meetings, 46 interested individuals gathered at the Alhambra room on what is now Rua do Ruocello and founded a sports club for all Italian Brazilians named Palestra Italia. Ezequiel Simone was named club president. The Italian consulate in Sao Paulo Paulo became interested in the new club because it would help spread the word among Italians that their country now had one flag and one anthem. After some initial difficulties, Palestra Italia played its first game in the town of Votorantim a Euro beating Savoy to a Euro Zero with goals from Bianco and Allegretti to win the Savoy Cup. 1920 a Euro 1930 a Euro first title and purchase of the stadium. In 1916, the team joined the city's main sports league and held its first official championship match. The following year it would be runner-up in the Sao Paulo Paulo State Championship, facing Corinthians for the first time. Palestra won that initial game 3 a Euro 0 with three goals from Catano. It also won the rematch 3 a Euro 1 of what would become the team's chief rivalry. In 1920, Palestra Italia captured the Sao Paulo Paulo State Championship with a victory over the rugged Paulistano squad in the deciding match. Palestra continued to grow as a sports club and also began acquiring more assets. Estadio Palestra Italia purchased in 1920, was remodeled and expanded in 1933 a Euro, when it became the first Brazilian stadium with concrete grandstands and barbed wire fences. Starting in 1964, the playing field would be suspended, which gave fans a complete, broad view and also created space in the lower levels. The club continued to grow and won more championships, 
and at the outset of the 1930s became the three-time Tsar Pound O Paulo State football and basketball champion a Euro a feat which prompted Palestra fans to chant in celebration, with the feet or with the hands, Palestra is the best in the land. A leader dies, a champion is born. In 1942 during World War II, the government of President Gita Leo Vargas made a decree banning any organization from using names related to the Axis powers. Palestra Italia was compelled to change its name, and became Palestra Tsar Pound O Paulo. Palestra is a Greek word that did not violate the government measure. However, the change did not soothe political and sporting pressures. Under penalty of forfeiting all its assets to another club and facing ejection from the championship that it currently led, Palestra was forced to change its name a second time. The night before the last game of the state championship, Scheduled for September 20, 1942, the Palestra Board of Directors held a heated meeting and changed the club's name. When the debate reached its peak, Dr. Mario Minervino took the floor and asked club secretary, Dr. Pascal W. Byron Giuliano, to note in the minutes, a Euro they don't want us to be Palestra, so then we shall be Premieras a Euro born to be champions. Tensions flared during the final league match where Pamira's opponent was the Tsar Pound O Paulo Futebol Club which was laying claim to the assets of the former Palestra Italia. Pamira's took the field carrying the Brazilian flag under the leadership of Army Captain Adalberto Mendes. Pamira's was leading the score by 3 a Euro 1 when a penalty was called in its favor. At that moment, the SPFC ordered its players to consider the Pamiras squad an enemy of the homeland and pulled its side off the field amid jeers from even the club's own fans. The celebrations began on the spot. The next day, newspapers contained a photograph of Pamiras entering the field with the headline, A Leader Dies, A Champion Is Born. 1951 A Euro First World Championship, in January 1951, the Brazilian sports newspaper O Globo Sportivo ran a lead story reporting that FIFA president Jules Rimet would grant unconditional support to holding a World Club Championship in Rio de Janeiro. The first World Club Championship was held in 1951, with the participation of eight squads, divided into two brackets of four teams apiece, Vasco da Gama, Austria Vienna, Nacional, and Sporting Lisbon, playing in Rio. And Palmeiras. Juventus, Red Star, and Olympique playing in Tsar Pound O Paulo. As it happened, FIFA would adopt this same number of teams, seed city system, and tournament model for the World Club Championship in 2000. The zeal to compete in this contest was such that the Uruguayan Football Association issued a directive signed by all first division team bosses on June 15, 1951 suspending its national championship from June 25 to July 27, so that a sufficiently strong national team could represent the 1950 World Cup champs. Pamiras and Juventus played in the final, held over two matches. Pamiras managed to win one game and tied the other to win the Rio Cup a Euro the first ever World Club Championship. The Academy, the Brazilian Giant. In the 1960s, the standard of quality of Pamiras play a Euro led by the one who would come to symbolize this period of football excellence, Adermia da Guia a Euro led the Palestra Italia team to be called the Academy of Brazilian Football. Headed by Filippo Nunes. Pamiras players won the most important national competition in 1965, the Rio Euro Tsar Pound O Paulo Championship, with standout performances. Blowouts against top rivals included seven goals scored against Santos, five against Botofogo in their home stadium of Maracana Pound, five against Tsar Pound O Paulo, and another four scored against Vasco. The title came to Pamiras in another lopsided victory against Botofogo at Pacamba Stadium in Tsar Pound O Paulo. That same year, the Brazilian Sports Federation used the entire Pamiras roster to launch Minera Pound O Stadium and represent Brazil in an official national team match against Uruguay for the Inconfida NCIA Cup. The day that it donned the green and white, Pamiras as Brazil was victorious 3 a Euro 0 over the Uruguayan Blue. In the previous year, Pamiras had won the Rio de Janeiro Quadricentennial Cup by beating the Paraguayan national team 5 a Euro 2 and besting P plus or minus a role of Uruguay in the final. 
At the end of the 1970s, Palmeiras won the Copa do Brasil and the Roberto Gomes Pedraza tournament a Euro the Brazilian championship equivalent at the time. These victories laid the groundwork for the second Palmeiras Academy, with players like Lua S. Pereira, Leavina, Emerson Lee Poundo, Dude and Car Copyright Tsar. Led by Oswaldo Brander Poundo, the team captured several titles in the 1970s. It was three times Tsar Poundo Paulo state champion a Euro emerging undefeated in one of those tournaments a Euro two-time Brazilian champion, three-time winner of Spain's Rama Cube Dende Carenza trophy, and winner of Argentina's Mar del Plata trophy a Euro considered the South American Club Championship, 1980s, the lost decade, accustomed to victories at the academy in the 1960s and 1970s. Palmeiras fans saw the 1980s come and go without championships or titles. In 1986, Palmeiras fielded a good team a Euro rooting Corinthians 5 a Euro 1 and playing an historic game in the semi-finals of the Tsar Poundo Paulo State Championship against that same rival, prevailing 3 a Euro 0. The team had arrived at the final of the state championship a Euro 10 years after winning its last state title a Euro, but lost to Inter de la Mira. On October 29, 1986, Palmeiras fans adopted the pig as their mascot. At a game against Santos, the rival fans were chanting pig. The Palmeiras crowd responded with come on pig. Come on pig. Ola copyright ola copyright ola copyright. And go pig. A few days later, Placar Sports magazine popularized the new nickname when it published an issue with Jaginu Putinati a Euro the symbol of that generation a Euro holding a pig in his lap. There were two noteworthy events during this decade. In the 1983 state championship against Santos, referee Jose Copyright Diaz's Araga Pando scored a goal for Palmeiras in the 47th minute of the second half. Striker Jaginu kicked inside of the penalty area. The ball was on its way out but it hit Araga Pound OA Euro, who was on the goal line about a metre from the goal and went into the Santos net. The game ended in a 2 a Euro 2 tie a Euro much to the chagrin of Santos. The second unexpected event occurred on November 11, 1988, when striker Gorcho defended two penalties against Flamingo in a game for the Brazilian Championship at Maracana Pound. Gorcho was put in goal after keeper Zetti broke a leg in the final minutes of the match. The game ended in a tie, and advanced to the penalty shootout phase. During the shootout, Gorcho stopped two shots, from Alaire and Zinu. To cap off the evening, he scored a penalty himself while wearing the goalkeeper's jersey. In 1989, Palmeiras had another chance to celebrate a title. Undefeated until the second last match. The team was eliminated when it lost to Bragantino in the semi-finals of the Tsar Poundo Paulo State Championship. The 1980s ended without significant victories, but the 1990s would make up for that. The end of the 20th century a Euro the greatest in Brazil, Palmeiras found itself in a 15-year hiatus without any significant trophies until 1992, when the club signed a sponsorship deal with Italian dairy giant Pamelat. The deal lasted for eight years and quickly turned Palmeiras into Brazil's richest club. In the 1990s, Palmeiras enjoyed countless sporting achievements, winning numerous important titles. In the first full year of the relationship, the team won the Tsar Poundo Paulo State Championship in 1993. That same year, it also captured the Rio Tsar Poundo Paulo Championship and the Brazilian Championship. The next year, it achieved the unprecedented feat of becoming two-time state champion and two-time Brazilian champion. Palmeiras also won the Mercosur Cup and the Brazil Cup a Euro, both in 1998. In 1996 it handily won the state championship, scoring more than 100 goals. It would also win the Champions Tournament against top Brazilian clubs. Featuring players with tremendous technical prowess like Edmundo, Eva, Zinu, Rivaldo, Alex, and car copyright Tsar Sampaio, Palmeiras won other international tournaments a Euro culminating with victory at the Libertadores de Arma Copyright Rica Cup in 1999. An accomplishment ranking among the biggest in the club's history. Having won key national and international competitions, 
Palmeiras was proclaimed Brazilian football's best team of the 20th century of Brazil by the Zao Pound Paulo State Football Federation, Newspapers Fola and Estado de Zao Pound Paulo, and Placar Magazine Rankings. 1999 A Euro Libertadores Cup winners, famous coach Luz Felipe Scolari led the team to one of the club's most important titles, the 1999 Libertadores Cup. The final match was against Deportivo Cali from Colombia. Important players from that team were World Cup winners Marcos, Zinu and Rock Janior, as well as Alex, Eva, Paulo Nunes and car copyright Zar Sampaio. In the first leg, in Cali, Deportivo beat Pamiras won a Euro 0. In the second leg, at Estadio Palestra Italia, Pamiras beat Deportivo 2 a Euro 1 and won the competition in the penalty shootout. In the same year, in Tokyo, Palmeiras disputed Intercontinental Cup, but were defeated in the final by Manchester United of England. 2000 a Euro 4 final championship matches, in 2000, Palmeiras disputed four final championship matches. At first, the team won the Rio Zar Pound o Paulo tournament after beating Vasco da Gama in the final. In the first leg, in Rio de Janeiro, Palmeiras beat Vasco 2 a Euro 1. In the second leg, at Estadio do Morumbi, the club from Zao Pando Paulo beat Vasco for a Euro Zero. The club again reached a Libertadores Cup final, this time against Boca Juniors from Argentina. In the first leg, in Buenos Aires, the game ended to a Euro Two. In the second leg, at Morumbi Stadium, in Zao Pando Paulo, the game ended zero a Euro Zero and Boca won the competition in the penalty shootout. In the same year, Palmeiras won Brazilian Champions Cup after beating Sport Recife in the final. By the end of this year, the club again reached the Mercosur Cup final against Vasco da Gama. The new millennium, Pamelat sponsorship ended in 2000 and left the club in dire straits. After a mildly irregular season in 2001 a Euro the biggest achievement was a Libertadores Cup semi-final against Boca Juniors a Euro the club faced its worst year ever in 2002 and was relegated to the Campeonato Brasileiro Zar copyright Ribe, which it won in the following year, returning to the first division in 2004. The 2004 and 2005 seasons were rather successful when the team qualified for the Libertadores Cup but unfortunately was sent home before the end of the championship. In 2008, Palmeiras made a sponsorship agreement with Traffic, a sports marketing agency. The club made some big investments on some big-name players and also on coach Wanderly Luxemburgo. This new strategy paid off for the 22nd Paulista Championship. Also in 2008, Palmeiras won the Zao Pando Paulo State Cup with a 5 0 0 victory over Ponte Preta. Palmeiras finished fourth in the Campeonato Brasileiro, which qualified them to the 2009 edition of the Copa Libertadores. Arena Palestra Italia. The year 2008 also marked the beginning of the planning phase for a new stadium for the club, as well as remodeling the social club to prepare Palmeiras for both the centenary of the club, and the World Cup, in 2014. The planned arena will seat 42,000 fans or 60,000 people at events like concerts, and will consist of fully covered spectator seating. It is planned to open in October 2013. In 2008 Palmeiras once again won the Campeonato Paulista and qualified for the Copa Libertadores. In 2009 Palmeiras were close to the Brazilian Championship, but political problems inside the club caused internal turmoil and affected on-field performances, and Palmeiras finished the league in the fifth position. 2012 A Euro Copa do Brasil undefeated winners, in 2012, Palmeiras won the Copa do Brasil tournament for the second time. The team, led by coach Luz Felipe Scolari and captained by midfielder Marcos Asuna Picavolt Pando, was unbeaten in the championship. New relegation and new return to elite, however, less than three months later Scolari would leave the club that lingered in 19th place in the Brasileira Pando. This way, Palmeiras signed with Gilson Cleaner, then coach of Ponte Preta, but the team failed to improve its performances in tournament and was relegated to the Campeonato Brasileiro Zar Copyright Ribe, for the second time since 2002, in its history, after a draw against Flamengo, 
on November 18, in round 36 of the 2012 Tsar Copyright Raya. The following year, now under the administration of President Paulo Nova and a campaign with clear superiority against the other's teams, Pamiras went back to the first division with six games to spare, ensuring participation in Serie A in 2014, the year of the club's centenary. Pamiras suffered a setback early on in their centenary season as Kalina exited the club, swiftly followed by top striker Alan Kartke. Ricardo Gerka became the new manager. Stadium Estadio Palestra Italia was the home football stadium of Pamiras from 1917 to 2010. It is also known as Estadio Park Antarctica after Company Antarctica de Bebidas, a leading beer company from whom the club acquired the property in 1920. In the past its capacity was listed as 35,000 spectators. However, even though its grandstands were extended in the late 1990s, it currently only seats 27,640 people due to regulations which enforce safety and comfort. The venue is also known as Park Antarctica because the area was a park built by the Antarctica Paulista Company in the beginning of the last century, before being acquired by Pamiras in 1920. Estadio Palestra Italia was one of the most important Brazilian stadiums, considering the amount of decisive and important matches played there most of them with the presence of Pamiras. Examples of matches played in Palestra Italia include 1999 Copa Libertadores final, the Copa Mercosur finals of 1998, 1999 and 2000, 1996 Copa do Brasil final and several Campeonato Paulista finals. Local derbies against Zar Pando Paulo are still played at home, while derbies against Corinthians are usually played in a larger stadium. Pamiras played on May 22, 2010 against Gramio for the Tsar copyright Raya on Palestra Italia, it was the last official match played in the stadium due to the beginning of the new stadium's construction, the Arena Palestra Italia. The last match played by Pamiras on Palestra Italia was a friendly against Boca Juniors on July 9, 2010. The Arena Palestra Italia will hold up to 46,000 seats and should be inaugurated in October 2013. The project proposes the first FIFA Ready Stadium in South America, billed as a multi purpose events arena. Capacity will be increased to 43,000 seats and 2,000 press staff for football matches. Many other facilities will be in place, including enhanced parking area, VIP area, three restaurant and bar helicopter point, etc. At this moment, Pamiras plays its home games at Estadio do Pacambu. Club Colors Pamiras' first kit consisted of green jerseys, white shorts and green socks. Pamiras' first jersey was green with a horizontal white band, and a red and white Savoy cross as the crest. Pamiras have played in blue shirts twice as a tribute to the Italian national team. Their supporters are also well known for creating the Mancha Verde of fog and smoke when Pamiras is entering the pitch. From 2007 to 2009 Pamiras used a third jersey, a light yellow shirt with a dark green shorts and socks. In 2010 Pamiras the light yellow jersey became the second jersey, and started using a blue and white shirt, with white shorts, for their third jersey. Supporters Originally Pamiras was a club heavily supported by Brazilians of Italian descent. Over time, that distinction has reduced, and today the fan base is very diverse. Pamiras' largest ultras groups are Mancha Alvi Verde, Taup, Acadamicos da Sava Cube Deer, Porks and others. Rivalries Pamiras' biggest rival is Corinthians. The rivalry between the two clubs is considered one of the most intense in Brazil and their matches are known as the Paulista Derby. Zar Pando Paulo is another local rival. The games between the two clubs are called the Chogremi. Pamiras was featured heavily in the film O Casamento de Romeo e Giulietta where the rivalry between Pamiras and Corinthians played a major role in the plot. Official mascot The club's official mascot is a green parakeet. During the late 1960s, Fans of Pamira's biggest rivals Corinthians would mockingly refer to the team as Pig, and soon after, other teams followed. In 1986, at the Campeonato Paulista playoffs, 
supporters adopted the pig like their mascot. Although the parakeet is the official mascot, fans will refer to and yell, P-O-A-C-O. Enthusiastically during matches, as the pig became their preferred mascot. Anthem. Pamiris's anthem was composed in 1949 by conductor Antonio Sergi. Sergi also wrote the lyrics for the anthem, but did that under the pseudonym Ganero Rodriguez. Cuando Sergio Alva Verde Imponent, when the imposing white green emerges, no gramado M. K. Aluta o Aguada, on the pitch where battle awaits, se bem o K. Vempela Frente, aware of what lies ahead, K. Adura is a dupra copyright Leonar Pound Otada, that the hardness of the game is approaching, e o Pamiras no ada da partida, and Pamiras, in the heat of the match, transformando a lealde dem padra poundo, making a pattern out of loyalty, sabe sempre a lover de vincida, always knows how to emerge as the winner, e mostra que, de fato a copyright campia poundo, and show that it's indeed the champion, defisa que ningua copyright em passa, impenetrable defense. Lina Tocanti de raw section a vigorous attacking line, torcida que canta e vibra, singing, cheering supporters, ponesu alva verde in tiro, for our white green hole, que sabe ser brasileiro, that knows how to be Brazilian, ostentando a sua fibra, boasting its fiber, players, current squad, as of April 28, 2014. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Out on loan, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Retired numbers, 12 a Euro Marcos, goalkeeper, notable players. Top scorers. These are Pamiras' top scorers since its foundation, technical staff. Current staff, kit manufacturer. 1977 to 1992, Adidas, 1993 to 1995, Rommel, 1996 to 1999, Reebok, 1999 to 2002, Rommel, 2002 to 2005, Diadora, 2006 a Euro present, Adidas, Shirt Partner, 1987 to 1988, Egypt, 1989 to 1992. Coca Cola, 1992 to 2000, Pamelat, 2001 to 2007, Pirelli, 2008, Fiat, 2008 to 2009, Suvinil, 2009 to 2010, Samsung, 2009 to 2010, Fast Shop, 2010 to 2012, Fiat, 2010 to 2011, Sajero Zonamade, 2011, Banco BMG, 2011, TIM. 2012, Kia, 2013, none, presidents, the club associates congregate in a general assembly every four years to elect the 76 members of the consul who deliberative who in their turn chose amongst them a president for a two-year mandate. As of 2006 the president can only be re-elected once. These are all Pamira's presidents since the club's foundation, honors. In its history. The club has won 22 championships of the state of Sao Paulo Paulo and 5 Rio Sao Paulo Paulo tournament, but the most important titles have been 8 National League titles, 3 National Cups, 1 Libertadores Cup, 1 Mercosur Cup and 1 World Tournament. Palmeiras is recognized as Brazil's most victorious club. In 1999, the club was claimed by Fedra Picavolt Paulo Paulista de Futebol champion of the 20th century in Brazil. Intercontinental, Copa Rio, Inersa 1951, Continental, Copa Libertadores, Inersa 1999, Runners-up in 1961, 1968, 2000, Copa Mercosul, Inersa 1998, Runners-up in 1999, 2000, National, Campeonato Brasileiro Zá Copyright Rye, Winners 1960, 1967, 1967, 1969, 1972, 1973, 1993, 1994, runners up, 1970, 1978, 1997, Copa do Brasil, Inersa 1998, 2012, runners up in 1996, Copa dos Campia Micronis, 
Inessa 2000, Campinato. Brasileiro Za Copyright Ribe, 2003, 2013, Interstate, Tornaio Rio Za Pound o Paulo, 1933, 1951, 1965, 1993, 2000, Champion Cup Rio Za Pound o Paulo State Tournament, 1926-1934, 1942, 1947, State, Campinato Paulista, 1920, 1920-1926, 1927, 1932, 1933, 1934, 1936, 1940, 1946, 1947, 1948, 1949, 1950, 1951, 1952, 1953, 1954, 1956, 1972, 1973, 1974, 1975, 1976, 1977, 1978, 1979, 1980, 1981, 1982, 1983, 1984, 1985, 1986, 1987, 1988, 1989, 1990, 1991, 1992, 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 